You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. So in this video, I'm just going to be talking to you a bit about the Note 7 and the recent exploding battery debacle. The Note 7 was supposed to be a story of refinement, the moment when years of experimentation, trial and error, seemed to converge on the perfect size, function and form for a large screen phone tablet. Samsung's marketing campaign engine was firing on all cylinders only to have the product that they were selling burst into flames while charging due to a battery defect. With the iPhone 7's release just around the corner, this couldn't have come for a worse time for Samsung Mobile. The exploding phones weren't due to faulty charging cables, it was the faulty devices themselves. One man from Perth, Australia had his Note 7 explode, charring his hotel room bed sheets and carpets. The hotel charged him almost $2,000 for damages and Samsung agreed to pay. Samsung has issued some statements on the problem, as well as issuing a recall and temporary halting of sales. According to reports, Samsung designed the Galaxy Note 7 battery cell, but the production was delegated to third parties. It's claimed that one of these third party manufacturers has produced the battery present in faulty units. The technical details haven't been released yet, but perhaps it's fair that the battery manufacturer takes on some of the costs of the recall, and that's not going to be cheap. We'll talk about the costs later. The following is a statement from a Samsung spokesperson, quote, as of September 1st, a total of 35 claims were registered with Samsung service centers at home and abroad. Only 24 units on a scale of 1 million were affected by the battery problem. By putting our top priority on consumer safety, we have decided to halt sales of the Galaxy Note 7 and offer new replacement handsets to all customers." End quote. It's said that 2.5 million Galaxy Note 7 handsets have already been sold and will need to be recalled as a part of this exploding battery fault. So. What does this mean for Samsung? When asked about the recall's financial impact on the company, Samsung's mobile chief, Ko Don Jin, said it would be a heartbreaking amount, end quote. The recall and phone replacement to 2.5 million Note owners is set to cost Samsung at least $1 billion by some analyst estimates. While this sounds like a lot, for Samsung, that only represents about 5% of the firm's net income for 2016. Not ideal, but not the end of the road for the company either. However, the cost is not only in lost inventory, their market value and consumer confidence will also take a hit. Investor concerns saw the share price drop in reaction to the news. Samsung's market share initially dropped by $7 billion when the news was first announced, before regaining some ground. That being said, this kind of volatility is expected as the speculative markets of today are extremely twitchy. All that I've mentioned hasn't included the competition. Even with no headphone jack, the new iPhone 7, rumored to have 3GB of RAM and a 25% faster CPU, as well as larger storage options, will take advantage of some of the lost potential Samsung sales. The whole scenario could just be a blessing for Apple. So in conclusion, even though this is a third-party manufacturer's fault, it's still a Samsung-branded phone, and they should have tested all of this during the quality control phase of production before actually selling the product. As highlighted earlier, consumer confidence will be damaged, and I personally can imagine many risk-averse type of individuals staying away from the Note 7 even when the problem has been fixed. Depending on the consumer's memory, this could hurt Samsung well into Christmas sales. All in all, although similar kind of things have happened to other phone manufacturers, this is the worst thing yet to happen to Samsung Mobile and will take at least a few months for the dust to clear. So yeah, those were my thoughts on the Note 7 fiasco. I've had a few people ask me to cover it, so I just thought I'd give my thoughts. Thanks for watching this quick video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as a very important side note, if you haven't seen my last video, you're missing out on one of the best videos I've made this year. So you should really check it out. I'll leave a link below. Cheers guys, this has been Dagogo, you've been watching Cold Fusion, and I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Imagine having one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century in your hands and giving it away because you didn't understand what you were holding. Cold Fusion, it's new thinking.